Happy Saturday. Good morning. So, 8.30 uh, in the morning and I am obviously in the car. Heading to a grocery. I'm going to get a couple of groceries. Yesterday, I don't know what I had. Um, it was just like a stomach bug or something, but I was not feeling well. So, I spent most of the late afternoon to this morning uh, in the bed. Um, get rid of it. So I don't think it's anything serious. So um, this morning I was famished and realized that the fridge is um, sort of empty. It's not empty, but um, it's nutrients, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. So um, I'm heading. Now it's a Saturday morning. I rarely if ever go to the market on the weekend because obviously a lot of people that's their time to catch up with the groceries but it's early enough so hopefully my mom is staying over at my brother's for the next uh, week so um Okay, so I am back home, as you can see. Uh, really quick, you know, these are sort of the essentials that we, that I want to have at the house at any given point. You know, we have cabbage, we have sitao, one soy or cilantro, spring onions, Probably my favorite vegetable, kangkong. A really nice red pepper. Always like to have that on standby. Mint leaves, uh, more for Ryan's cocktail making. Cucumber, Japanese irregular. I like to have that for happy hour. This is um, just wild arugula. I love arugula with pasta or with. Uh, just meats, that's really good. I have some mandarin oranges. A couple of lemons for Ryan. Two of those. 
This is our version of lime. It's called Dayap. It's the closest thing we have to a lime because we have calamansi. I got a small grapefruit juice for Ryan's cocktail making. Also got some oranges. Mayonnaise, Heinz mayonnaise. A couple of packets of spaghetti. I do like this brand, Barilla, aluminum foil. Something I grew up with that I was feeling a little bit retro is chocolate milk called Chucky. I grew up with Chocolite, but this is just as good. Filipino household, not the same without Spam. Actually, we never used to get the less sodium. We got the full, full shebang, but I figured now that I'm getting older. Got some sardines, another staple in a Filipino pantry. Always have sardines. Emergency food, which translates to pagtamad magluto. Sardines. Liver spread. I used to love liver spread just with pandesal, palaman, okay na ako. And a backbone of my American pantry was diced tomatoes because they're easy to make pasta with. So I also got a couple of those. But what I'm super excited about is when I stopped at Santi's, that's specialty uh, deli place. Ooh, I'm so excited. Look at that. So we got some foie gras. That's four escalopes, so just four slices of foie gras. Scallops. Uh, once in a while, I do like scallops, and I'm going to make this for lunch. And I always like to have butter biscuits. I don't know why. It's just a comfort thing. We got more arugula, just a different version. So I thought I'd try that. And we got some truffle risotto. Maybe that will be part of lunch today. The background that you hear are obviously the dogs. I got them a gift. We got some flat leaf parsley until my herb garden is growing. Unfortunately, I have to buy herbs. This is cheese and prosciutto tortellini, which is gonna be, again, another quick uh, pasta. You can also do this for happy hour, so I got one of those. We got some Norwegian salmon, uh, good for happy hour, good for breakfast, lox. A mini, what is this? A mini bread baguette for happy hour. I don't like to get the big one because we never finish it. Just some um, che cheesy herbs, herb cheesy. Fresh chorizo, that's gonna go with the scallops. I got some roasties, which is just basically, um, you know, those hash browns that you get at like um, American diners. It's the same thing. Just does the work for you. And the big find is this trout. I got three pieces of trout. They're a little bit more expensive here, especially since Ryan just used to catch them in the backyard while he was fishing. But what can you do? So. This is exciting. I want to see what I can do with it. And you know, it's such a treat to have trout. So, so there you have it. That is the weekend shopping. The store weren't, hold on. The stores weren't, uh, the stores weren't full yet because I think it was pretty early. So I was able to um, just sneak in. Uh, it was getting pretty busy as I was leaving. And it is about 10.17. And um, in a little bit, I will start lunch, but finish my coffee first. I got the boys some toys, the cheap toys that you find in the children's toy section. You can see the house next door doesn't have any more scaffolding. It looks like they're just about finishing the outside. And from what I gather, they're going to be done or be moving in by... June, I believe. So it's actually gotten quieter, uh, to be fair to them, over the last couple of weeks. So yeah, there's just Saturday morning. I was fortunate enough to really all my job mostly is work from home because I travel a lot, which is another very good source of inspiration. Um, that's garlic. 
So you will see in this channel that we are just using recipes as, gui as guidelines and pairings as guidelines. And a lot of my cooking style is when we were living in the US and both working and just trying to get some good food um, in between meetings and conferences and stuff like that. Now I'm super lucky that we're here, we're taking it easy, we're reluctant retirees and I can still uh, play around with dishes based on what's available in the Philippines. So I chopped some garlic. Now I wanted to show you some chorizo. This is a chorizo sausage, not really the chorizo um, that you put in sandwiches or for happy hour. This is full on chorizo sausage, which is really good with scallops. Anything pork with seafood is a great pairing. And they come like that. So I'm just gonna slice them open. It's just the two of us, so we'll do just two. Okay, so far, as you can see, it's super, super simple. This is probably going to be the hardest thing, the risotto. And I'm not one for reading instructions, which I really should. So, um, you know, when you make risotto from scratch, it's, you have to make the broth and you have to pour it as soon as the other one is finished. While it cooks, you can't just pour the whole broth in. Again, I've, I've certainly done that, so let's see what this is telling us to do. It's in Italian. Let's see if there's anything in English. So one of the best tips or one of the things that I do when, it co when I buy packets of things is that I like to shush it up. So once this gets um, cooked, I want to see what I can add on. Whether I can add, can I add on more garlic? Can I add on vegetables? Can I add on? So again, this is just a guideline. Your taste buds are your best friend when it comes to shushing up dishes that you buy in a packet. Because sometimes buying things in a packet isn't always fantastic, all right? So I've certainly bought stuff that I regretted and just tried to shift it up. And if you're a working mom or working student, you just work and just wanna have a good meal, that's also a great advantage, right? Semi-homemade, buy something that's already packed and try to just amp up the level a little bit when you get to the house. So it kind of cuts down the work, but it still is uh, tailored to your flavor. So let's heat up some water right now. Okay, so while that is boiling, let's talk about the scallops. Now, in the States, this is expensive, but you know, it's just, if it's just the two of you, it's a good uh, treat <laughs> for both of you. Um, I love scallops with, uh, like I said, with white. I have been fortunate enough to be, to have traveled quite a bit, and I am such a big advocate for traveling as, as, as a learning experience, right? Like uh, the foods, half the foods that I am trying to recreate is based on foods that I've tried when I've traveled and just local stuff and what's available. And I think cooking is such a great way, especially at home, to just hone that, hone your taste buds and, and getting comfortable in the kitchen. I I enjoy cooking. You know, I'm lucky that I'm at home and when, when my mom's here, she does most of the cooking and it's a lot of Filipino cooking that, that foods that I absolutely love. But, you know, food is such a great um, equalizer. Everywhere, everywhere we go, when we would travel, we would look at the cafes or the restaurants we want to go to and then see what museums or things, point of interest are around that, that um, restaurant. Um, when we do travel, food is a big part of why we of why we travel, and you know a lot more. So, I, you know, and I'm, ta I'm not even talking about having to travel internationally, especially now that it's still a little bit controlled. Having to travel internationally, we we moved here about a year and a half ago, and we are now just exploring the nearby cities from where we live, and it is fun, right? They have local dishes that I've never heard of, or they do dishes differently than what I grew up in. That's part, that's part of the education of, of traveling. So as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about having uh, kids, uh, you know, adults, whoever, travel. And it's never too late to start. You know, Ryan, my husband, didn't really start traveling till we got together, right? His first trip abroad from living in the US was when we got together and he's been hooked on ever since.
It says to put it on medium heat without the cover. And again, for a final touch, you can put more butter, more cheese, um, mix it with, in as a salad. All right, 12 minutes. A bit of butter, tiniest bit of oil. Now, is made with uh, paprika and a bit of cayenne. You can see this is a little bit not too red, like the one you get maybe in Europe. So we are going to push it up. So like I said, it depends on your taste. If you're happy with this kind of color, just go for it. Um, I like mine a little bit more red than that. So we'll just wait. We can add a bit of paprika just for the redness and the flavor. I actually have some leftover Hungarian paprika that we got from Hungary the last time we were there. So that's super fun. Okay, so just pick that up. Once it starts to brown, you gotta drop in the garlic. Voila. such a simple dish I would make this for like a nice elegant date night at home um, or just not date night just because it was available at any given point I will have sausage and some sort of seafood I can substitute the shrimp I'm starting to brown as you can see I haven't added any salt or pepper or, because it's always easy to add the salt um, I'm a very salty person I like my food <laughs> salty um, on the salty side, but you have to also pay attention to the other person who's going to eat it. So remember, the scallops doesn't take long because then it gets chewy. And if you don't have chorizo, I would always have sausage in the fridge and shrimp in the throat in the freezer. So you can do that kind of combination as well. Any pork or seafood is fantastic. Add our scallops. I've washed them and half them because they're a little too big. They're going to shrink a little bit, so that's the perfect size to eat. So that's cooking. Let's squirt in a bit of lemon. Flavor. If I had it open, which I normally do, just right now it's at the bar upstairs, um, you could splash in some wine. That would be fantastic as well. But I think for now we'll just do that. We wash uh, arugula and we are just going to cut it over and let that melt. Arugula is a little bit more bitter than just regular lettuce. So just going to add a bit of that. Mix it in. This is how our risotto is looking. It's getting there. There you go. Start at 11.30, 30 minutes later. You get a wonderful dish. All right, let's try it. Frozen. That's really, really good. 